The Auburn Tigers, of course, we all talked about the Brian Harson situation, everything that was going on with Auburn, and whether or not they were going to fire Harson, you know, after one season, et cetera. We know what is going on. We know how the sausage is made at Auburn with the boosters and everything else that's going on there. Auburn, since we have last spoken together, has promoted their wide receivers coach to Eric Keesaw, uh, excuse me, to uh, offensive coordinator. Eric Keesaw was the wide receivers coach that was brought in after the Georgia State game. Now, this is interesting to me only because we now have the offensive coordinator and the defensive coordinator that Brian Harson had with him at Boise as the new OC and DC for Auburn heading into his second season on the Plains. That is interesting to me. He's got four guys out of ten assistant coaches that were with him at Boise. Now, that is not uncommon. When a coach leaves, he normally takes guys with him that are willing to go, etc. That makes all the sense in the world. But Eric Keesaw was not even on staff. He was an offensive analyst with Auburn. And then Harson decided to fire his wide receivers coach. And he brought in Keesaw to be an on-field assistant. So he was the wide receivers coach. And now he is the offensive coordinator after... You know, they fired Mike Bobo, and then Austin Davis decided that he wanted to quit. And now this is the third offensive coordinator that he's had in, eh, what, 15 months? Somewhere around there, 14 months, whatever it is. It, this is uh, this is interesting. Um, they also have Brad Beadle, who is the tight ends coach. He is from Boise. And Brad Ler- uh, Larondo. I hope I say that right. Larondo, <laughs> the associate AD and football chief of staff. Both of those guys were with him at Boise as well. I, I'm curious. You know, obviously there is a Mountain West flair here. Uh, Zach Etheridge, um, eh, not Zach, excuse me, Will Friend, who came over from Tennessee as the offensive line coach, he was at Colorado State for a while as well. So you now have five guys on staff that were uh, were Mountain West guys. Then your uh, strength and conditioning coach, Jeff Pittman, used to be at Arkansas State. Uh, there's not a lot of SEC on this coaching staff. I don't know that that's necessarily a bad thing. I think Brian Harson has decided he is going to surround himself with the people that he thinks are the most loyal to him and that will not uh, take information back to parties that he does not want to have it. And this could be very interesting going forward. Uh, but Eric Keesaw and Jeff Schmetting are the new offensive coordinator and the new defensive coordinator. I do think uh, this could actually help Harson. He is working with people that he is comfortable with, guys that understand what he wants to do with a football program going forward. But none of these guys are recruiters. And we'll see if you can win in the SEC without getting the top, top, top talent. I don't know that you can, but I am more than willing to sit back and watch and see if it can be done. That would be very interesting because remember, as we've talked about, Auburn has to play Georgia, Alabama, LSU, Texas A&M, et cetera, every single year. That doesn't even include Arkansas, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, you know, whatever. Auburn is up against it every single year. I'm curious what this coaching staff can get done. I'm curious about Eric Keesaw. Uh, Looking at what he did prior to coming to Auburn, uh, you know, it's not not great stuff. Uh, Yes, he was at Boise in 2019 and uh, 2020. He was uh, at Fresno in 2016 as the offensive coordinator and the interim head coach when Tim DeRuder got fired. That team went 1-11. and He was the Kansas Jayhawks interim OC in 2014 in the year where they went 3-9. Uh, 2013, Washington Huskies, he was the OC for Steve Sarkeesian for one year when they went 9-4 and before Sark got the head coaching job at USC and decided not to bring Keesaw with him. Uh, that was 2012 and 2013. In 2010... He was the OC for the Colorado Buffaloes under Dan Hawkins. They went five and seven that year, um, you know. And and they were in two thousand nine. They went three and nine. He was there for for two years as the OC. So he has been around, uh, but he has not been in the SEC. And I'm curious. I'm just curious to see how this is going to work out. So, uh, cheers to that. Uh, I, I can't wait to see exactly what Auburn ends up doing with Eric Keesaw as their new offensive coordinator. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, 
at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.